Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, so the stream is running. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just do a quick yeah. check. So that's the camera, mm -hmm. that's the microphone. Ich nicht über das Laptop? Ich weiß. <lacht> Warum hatte ich die Flasche mitgebracht? Dann kann ich mal schön durch die Gegend. Ja, ich weiß, das ist, das ist eh. Also, wenn ich hergekommen bin, kann ich so ich ist mega mm. Ja, das kennen wir. Mm. Wenn der auch jeden das Flasch nimmt, ganz ehrlich. Ja, ja. Ich muss mir vorstellen, dass ich nicht mehr bin. Ich habe nie mehr bekommen, wenn Yeah. 
but for this moment with you, now you will leave and forget. It's okay. I'll keep on computing these colors. Before you go, I wish to extend my warmest respect to the motherboard. In processing units of Alcatraz, Linux, Altair, Prism B, Still, New Sam, Teapot, Logicoma, The Black Lotus, Eos, Observer, Evil, Good Brain, or Brown, from Mount Design. Das war um, Gaia Space Agency by Circuit Serenade. Um, vierter Platz an der Evoke zwei Wochen vorher um, gab es eine Demo Party in Köln, Deutschland. Und das war ein sehr schönes Beispiel von einem Scene Poetry mit Poesie und so den ich möchte mit euch teilen und damit äh, herzlich begrüßen zum ersten Graphathon in Bern, der ersten echtzeit Graphathon. Ich bin hier mit Jörg, wir haben einen Livestream. Ich hoffe, hoffe dass, ähm, dass das funktioniert, dass wir auch ein paar äh, Teilnehmer aus dem Ferne haben werden. Aber natürlich bin ich, sind wir vor allem eingerichtet für hier an Erapt, ähm, den Graphathon zu durchführen. Ist Deutsch, Hochdeutsch gut für alle oder sollen wir eher auf Englisch den Programm teilen. Gut. Also dann lasse ich Jörg weiter auf Englisch. Den begrüße ich wiederholen. So I'm I'm glad to to have you around. It's like for about more than three years, Oleg and I had the idea to to start a graphathon, and now finally we we're happy to to have such a nice place. We are hosted uh, at the Erupt Game Lounge directly next to the main station in Bern, and um, We are happy to, to have a weekend with you to start um, graphics programming. And we'll, we'll have some visitors around during the days. And our main goal is to, to learn, to help each other, and to, to try to make some vi visuals, to make some music, and to maybe create your, f your first demo to, um, to show. And it's It's mainly a hackathon, so we are we are here to to group together, to help each other, and to to learn. And um, I'm I'm looking forward to to start this day with you. And um, um, a, a warm thank you, like for for the Erupt team, which will be around today to um, to host us. And um, um, What's next? <laughs> we have some some small introduction. Oleg, we um, when will we introduce ourselves or have time to introduce our our participants? Some of them know each other. Some of them will arrive later, and it will be some some um, a little bit chaotic maybe, but we. <laughs> It will be great. <laughs> yeah, so we have a couple of people who are still trying to find the place and we're going to basically be here today and tomorrow and trying to just make the most of the use of the facilities. This is a pilot. This is the very first time that we're doing like a week weekend long event at Erupt. We have been doing summer events together with the Verein Plain Burn. Um, I guess Pascal, you can maybe say a few things about that if you want to, to, to everybody. Um, which Play, Play Burn has been an association that's been quite helpful to set up this gaming lounge in the first place. Giuseppe, you've been coming to the festivals for many years, so you know what that is all about. And so we, and, and we've been having children's events uh, all summer to prepare for a, a kids game prize. Exactly. Yes. So until the end of the month, you can still submit um, entries um, for the children's prize. And Graphathon and Playburn, they kind of go hand in hand because the idea is that 
the things we produce this weekend will be shown at our four-day festival in two weeks. There will be a demo scene lounge with permanent installations um, run by Psycon from Echtzeit Association. And we, they will be showing some really cool demos like the ones we've just seen, you know, the, that, that are current winners or meteoric awards or other awards. They will also have very special guests um, from overseas that will be coming to represent their group and to show some, some of their demos and to explain how it works. Um, and I hear there will even be some interactive things like something you can play with, uh, but created by demo groups at Playburn. So lots to look forward to. And that's kind of the big challenge for us this weekend is to create something interesting that visitors at the festival can, can, can enjoy. Um, it will be a very public event at the Proger uh, Cultural Center, right across from the Bundeshaus, the Swiss federal parliament. Um, and uh, there's a lot of advertisement around the city right now, lots of people hopefully coming to the festival. So that's, that said, we do have a couple of things we want to show you. So I'm mm -hmm. Seism, mm -hmm. or you can say Oleg, or Seism is my like, scene nick. And I'm Jörg. My scene nick is Movie. And um, the basic idea is two days, any platform, beginners welcome. The idea of the Graphathon is actually to try to invite more people to the demo scene and especially newbies, especially people who are uh, curious, what is, this, what is this all about, you know, and that's the format we really want to develop. Mm -hmm. And we have some um, platforms we, we sent to the particip participants already. It's um, like mainly three for beginners. The one is the Snap platform, which is um, closely related to Scratch, but way more powerful. Mm. The uh, next one is like Processing or P5.js. And the third one is for like people who want to note, edit with cables mm -hmm. and to make some cable salad yeah. <laughs> and have some, some big patches with cables. GL is like the, the third way but we are open like you can use any library or any platform you want to to develop but this is, is the one for beginners maybe yeah and i'm 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 really like not really a fan of contest or competition just for competition's sake um but we we will try to encourage a little bit of feedback we really want people to leave comments on each other's productions. We want to learn from each other as much as possible this weekend. Um, so you can give each other five stars if you really like the effort, you know, and that kind of thing at the end of the event. Um, we do have some small prizes that we will announce tomorrow. And yeah, the presentations will be at three o'clock. At three? Is it oh, three no, not at two o'clock. I was already at two o'clock. It was at two o'clock. Sorry, two o'clock. My brain. So by three o'clock, we should be finished with presentations. Mm -hmm. We start at two o'clock tomorrow. That's it. And um, yeah. this, this is just um, from to our roots. So we say a big, big uh, hello to to our friends in in Finland, which were um, Marcy and Shigon, who who were like meeting us um, before our event and told us like it's a very good idea to to take on the idea because Finland hasn't had a graphathon like in years and so um, we're happy like we we can use the name and we can call it like the Echtzeit graphathon to to run and the the main point is we want to document on on this and we want to to show off um, productions to have others which are encouraged to to take on and to learn from from what we've seen and so one big point is like we want to document what what is being submitted and shown. This is one of the main point of sharing and sh showing your code so others can can learn from it. So especially if you are a beginner and you can encourage other beginners. And um, speaking of learning, so the original Graphathon was run since 2015 in Alto, Finland, and one of the organizers will join us in half an hour. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to learn to see um, and um, yeah and they really I really would really like to have kind of developed this connection um, they haven't managed to produce a, 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 another graphathon because of corona um, we are probably going to be the only graphathon this year mm -hmm. but uh, we're really looking at kind of 
starting a collaboration and doing more of these events around the world. And they, but to say they started in 2012, but under a different name. It was like audio graphics or some other name. It's like the idea of a graphathon is like more than 10 years old, to say. So the demo scene basically revolves is the, around parties. This is uh, an embarrassing picture of me and some friends of ours uh, hanging out <laughs> at uh, Bunsley uh, about 10 years ago. Um, and basically at demo parties, people often come with, with finished productions, but just as often they, 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 they do all the work the night before. We're all lousy procrastinators. We didn't learn anything at school. So we come there with half finished work and try to really uh, hit the deadlines um, as, as, as best as we can. But there are also surprise compos. So there's even a special format at most demo parties where they announce a topic in the morning of the beginning of the event and you have 24 hours or something to create some very small production with that topic. And that's what surprise compos are about. And graphathons are, are, are very much, uh, that is that the idea that we, we just come and we, we don't necessarily have anything finished. We just have some, our tools, we just have some ideas. And we start by sketching and drawing and, uh, and, and coming up with, uh, you know, insp inspiring ourselves from each other. And by the end of the graphathon, we have some, some product. So also uh, um, a, a big welcome for, for the young people who are starting. Like today, we, I hope there will be some, some young people around which are encouraged to, to do stuff. Now there's also a picture from, from me, as you can see. This was at the Jugendhakt in Zurich. And um, a big uh, greeting like to our friends in, in Schaffhausen. Where, where we run the or we ran the last Jugendtakt event at the hackerspace in uh, Bering. And um, I can really encourage like the, the young people to, to find some kind of expressing themselves, like be it with music, be it with coding, being with interactive design, making some games. And this is one one part of the graphs on which which I really like to to bring people together and to, to encourage the young to to go on and um, be be with the scene. So this is like the the, the alpaca. This is like the an animal. <laughs> it's the Jugendhakt alpaca. <laughs> so and we we started uh, our preparations like more than a year ago. We d we did some workshop for the. Um, for the teachers and interested people in the at the University of Teacher Education, where I work, and uh, every year we're doing an open education day. And last year, Oleg and I did did some workshop on on processing graphic um, programming with P5GS, and this was like the start for our preparation to to the to the to the graphism. You can watch all this later. We will document the links. We have some presentation and the rec recording wi where you saw some some still mm -hmm. from. And this brings us to yes. to our platform where we where we show everything. This is like make dot echtzeitkultur dot org. There we we have. Um, some competitions or it's not a competition like it's it's more like some documentation and it's some challenge like we have some ideas from from other people who um, who submitted some ideas which we could realize be it with special 3d models be it with um, with some old school um, platforms and it's like in two cat categories like you have the, the newbie and the senior and when you submit a project you can choose where you where you will submit it and there's some some more difficult ones mm -hmm. and some simpler ones like for example well we'll, we'll go we'll go through them quickly now mm -hmm. so the part of difficulty the bar the progress bar is this no, the, the progress bar just shows shows where where you 
um, where's the progress of the project like if you're near finish or if you're just at the beginning to to start um, doodling and making some proof of concept and and then it's this is just the progress bar to to show and we we will go through through the for um, project which which were like a challenge and the the first one is like the acceleration like where where you s can start off connect to each other and where you um, get to meet yeah the, pr the, the first people. most important thing I think of every demo is piece of paper and pencil or pen um, really encourage everyone to just take a take a take a sheet of paper just rip a piece off here we've got more paper we've got lots of pens here exactly set up and I, I, f I find it's really you know that's that 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 freedom with, without the computer the analog freedom of just having your your pencil and your ideas flowing out of you that's the easiest way even you don't have to be good at drawing it's it's not really about making something like super convincing and excellent it's more about just motivating yourself like committing yourself to some idea that you have you know that's kind of the idea of, of working through sketches and um and and we'd like to really yeah encourage you to 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 try that and some people they 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 prefer to more like talk the idea out that's why we're here together and we can just discuss what cool things we we, we we'd like to try um and 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 what what kind of colors we like and what kind of shapes we like and this that kind of one thing leads to another or if you like or if you like want to do 2d or if you like 3d and maybe there's also two and a half d which is really 2d but looks like 3d mm -hmm. there's, there's so so many simple stuff to try out and to 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 get an idea running and one thing i just want to mention is that also in in, in other demo scene events there's a category <coughs> called p real time well, not necessarily real time, but there's the paint over category. It's like one of the surprise categories. Well, they give you um, kind of a not a like a kind of a a, a for log, a template, and then people kind of make make their own thing. So you see here, someone made a fox, and someone made a a, a starry sky or something, and the and then there's like a a dead. Uh, this is really complex building. So this, these, all, all these images have the same starting point. So they kind of give you a starting point, which is usually like a bunch of scribbles, and they encourage you to paint over them. That's really just a, a really cool category that you see at assembly or evoke in these kind of events. So once we've doodled, we've designed, we can get some devices. We have plenty of devices here how many of how many people have a laptop or everyone okay we have we have spare laptops we have tablets we have computers we have retro computers there's no uh, we uh, i even brought uh, some led strips for doing blinking lights like to really like uh, miniature electronics any platform is good um we also don't expect everyone to code a production. At a graphathon, it's completely fine just to make a piece of art, or you know, just to draw something, or on the, or, or use the computer, use with, with with Photoshop, or make an animation with a tool, or to make some music. Those are all make, legitimate entries. Or make some some nice 3D model. Exactly. Yeah. Just express yourself and and take the wave to to do it. <laughs> And, and as, as you said, Jörg, the, the, we're, the, we're going to just try to assemble everybody's results at the end of the, ha of, of the weekend on this platform. You don't have to figure it out. We can just come and we'll collect your results. Um, there's just two, two important things to, to remember bef before you leave. That will be to share everything you've, your, share your sketches, share your results, share whatever you want to, uh, to, to con be as a contribution to the graphathon. And the other is to pick up a certificate. Oh, yes. <laughs> Um, and as you've seen, there there are some some small badges you can you can help yourself um, in front. Um, these are like giveaways for you. I'd like to have some uh, uh, some uh, souvenir, like like uh, I was at the first Graphison and Burn. And yeah, thanks, Oleg, for the quick yeah. um, manufacturing. With some spare parts. <laughs> yes. So pick up, uh, pick up a token. We'll we'll get some certificates printed. 
and <laughs> at that, the end. That's, but the most, most of all, I think the, 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 the thing you get out of a graphathon is the experience and the fact that you get something online. Um, I also have been thinking in regards to this, whether anyone here is interested in NFTs, one person. Uh, I can make an NFT of your certificate if you want. We can make that happen. <laughs> and just maybe show, show the, the, the links we mentioned earlier are just in, in front, who didn't read it on the, on the email for the participa participants, like there's, there's some, um, some scratch-like stuff going on, like on um, generative art, which is strongly encouraged, was like from, from a, a participant at this year's Open Education Day. And it's under CC license, and mm. thanks to to Matthias Giger who um, who who gave it to me. Like I can ho could host it on a Moodle to to show to some beginners like how to start with um, generative art with with some block programming, and and the next one is like the presentation where you saw the still from 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 graphic animation with P5GS. And there's some other different uh, but important stuff like for the more advanced about like the the demo scene starter kit with with processing there's some there's some um, I think the one this one I think someone would have go our code with C++ uh, yeah. <laughs> and Marco is is great for C++ if you have some questions okay. Okay. So, here's the here's the plan. Um, basically, at in in about, at about eleven o'clock, we're going to have a, a, an, the chance to meet the original Graphathon organizers. We're going to do a bit of a workshop out of it. So, um, we'll take we'll go through some basic steps and actually show how how demos get made in one, two, or three of these platforms. And and um, at at 12:30, we'll have a quick break. We'll have uh, we'll have lunch. Um, we we're not going to like serve lunch. We probably will go somewhere for lunch. Uh, depending if it's raining or not, we'll just go upstairs, you know, to the Grosse Chance, or there's lots of restaurants and things around the train station. So we'll, we'll work something out. And at three o'clock, it'll be like a progress check. So we'll come together again and see. I mean, we can stay here all day long. And just at three o'clock, we'll we'll try to see where everyone's at and get some help. And from like this evening, there will be we're calling it party mode because we can stay here like basically till ten, I think, at night. Mm -hmm. so I guess it's like till till eleven. I Even eleven. Th okay. It's the opening times on the weekends is till eleven. Mm -hmm. And but um, it will get loud. That's the point. There will <laughs> be other. Per there will be people coming in for sure to play on the consoles and video games and card games. So. You know, just expect that by this evening there's going to be a lot of activity, and pr maybe by that time we'll maybe move move somewhere else or go home. But you're very welcome to stay here all weekend. Or you can have some headphones. I also brought some yes, headphones. Yes, we have headphones. <laughs> <laughs> and then we continue on Sunday, 10 o'clock, just like today. We'll have another workshop, another guest, uh, another lunch break, presentations, 2 o'clock. So by 2 mm -hmm. o'clock everything needs to be done, right? So it's about 20, what, 8 hours we have to produce something. And there'll be a small apero at 3 o'clock, and by 4 o'clock we'll be done tomorrow. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's okay. the plan. Still something to, to, to mention, or are, are there any questions from you till now? So I'm, I'm, um, I'm curious to see who, who will be around all the day and when, when everything else is, is starting here and people get in and we'll see what we are doing and we'll be asking what what's what's going on and um, we'll 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 see what what will happen today even though our stream is offline as I <laughs> strange it seems like we are streaming but well we are recording anyway so I'll just okay. upload the recording in a second so okay. to get you all guys all warmed up um, I will. I do want to show you a demo. Unfortunately, I, 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 I can't show it. I can show it real time, but it's a bit of an uh, annoying to switch. Should so I'll show it recording. Start. Just give me one second. I just want to make sure that we mentioned everything. Oh yes, Corona concept. 
I know it's August 2022, but we're still not completely done with this bloody thing. So please disinfect your hands and keyboards. You can wear a mask if you want. If there are COVID cases, we will inform everybody and stay healthy. Okay. Um, oh, one more very important thing. We have a code of conduct. You haven't mentioned this yet, right? No, I haven't. Okay. At the bottom of every page, if you just uh, control tab, you can find the uh, in a little with a little rainbow. Just scroll up a bit, a bit too far, a bit too far. Yes. So you can click the link, check out the hack of code of conduct. Very important for us that we have an event where people are tolerant and cool with each other. Um, and uh, basically, we do not discriminate. We don't sh shoot anyone down, and we report problems. So please approach us if there's any problem at any point at the hackathon, and we will deal with it. Uh, as adults, um, and and also everything that's on th that goes on this website is kind of by default Creative Commons licensed. If you have, if you choose to copyright your works or use a different license, that's absolutely okay. Just state it on your release that there's a different license, but that's the default license. And one one point uh, which is important, like for you, if you don't want to be on a photo, please tell us. I guess we will make some photos and the best ones will be shown someone but if you tell us no i don't want to be on a photo on the internet please tell us or you could also af uh, tell us afterwards like if you think like you see it and then you can always it's it's like it's like you're right on your on your picture and so please tell us if you don't and we will we will avoid this is an okay any questions about any of this okay yeah Ready to do some eventing? That's it. So All right. switch to it. So to Esco. Yeah. So let's watch. Let's watch a demo. This is Esco by Epoch, the winner of Graphathon 2019. Let me just turn off the uh, video capture. Von einem Schweiz That's not part of the demo. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I suggest we take.
we take some, get some coffee, get set up. Like I said, we have paper, computers, a Wi-Fi, books, pens, colorful pens. Let's get our brain juices flowing. Come up with some, sketch some ideas, talk to each other, see what you're inspired to make. And uh, yeah, uh, and, and, and also maybe one just more thing, like um, the, gra the graphathon for me also has a lot to do with graffiti or graphics, like not just in the sense of computer graphics, but the fact that we're drawing something on the world, you know, putting something out there and letting other people watch it. You think about maybe also the message you want to share, you know, maybe that's a, even a better starting point, you know, like what, what do you think is an important message to, 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 to send out to the world today, you know? And, and then make it loud and make it colorful and together we'll make it a powerful, we'll give it a, a kind of acceleration and get it out there into, you know, YouTubes and Twitches and NFT marketplaces and all that. Okay? All right. Okay. Stream out. <coughs>